How's it going everybody? You're watching Denival Tech and today I'm gonna give you the best tips on how to save a ton of battery life on iOS 13 and of course iOS 13.1 and later. So let's go ahead and begin. Okay guys, so there's no way to talk about battery saving if we don't go to settings and then we scroll down all the way to battery. Okay, this is one of the most important part of this video, so pay attention because there's a lot here under the battery settings. Uh, first of all, we have to talk about battery health. Okay, this is super important. If you tap on battery health, you're gonna say the maximum capacity of your battery. As you guys can see on mine, it's 96%. That's pretty good, that's great. Regarding this is like a six months old phone. Uh, so if you are between 85% and 100, you're okay. If you are on 85 or lower, then it means that it's probably time to change your battery. Because if you're on 85 or under, like 80% or even lower that, it means that your battery won't hold charge as well as it used to. As it used to. So that means that it's gonna drain a lot faster. Uh, maybe you will have performance problems. Maybe you will have uh, your battery overheating or something like that. So that's a huge, huge problem. So maybe uh, if you are like on 80%, 82 or something like this, even if I give you the best tips in the world, is not gonna save you because your battery is just degraded, it's just damaged, okay? So this is one very, very important thing. Another important thing right here is that, as you guys can see, the battery section right here is super cool, it has a lot of graphs and information, and it's very important that you use this. Let me explain you. Uh, first of all, you can see your battery usage on the last 24 hours or last day. So let's see in the last 10 days, because in the last 10 days, uh, you can definitely uh, see how you're using your battery. So uh, you can see the battery usage app by app so whatsapp instagram is is it's listed uh, uh by the top ones are the ones you use the most of course and then you can see just uh the percentage of battery that it used so then as you guys can see my whatsapp used 26 percent my instagram 22 percent and my youtube 14 so just these three apps we use more than half of my battery. So this is super important. And if you tap on it, you can see that it changes to the amount of hours they were used in the last 10 days. So uh, on screen hours and background hours. So this is very important that you actually use all of those information, right? All of this information right here to actually analyze how you're using your battery. Because from now on, you can say, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the foot a little bit off the throttle right here on WhatsApp or Instagram because it's taking like half of my battery, for example. Uh, Another thing that is super interesting is that if you tap on 24 hours, so last 24 hours right here, you can see your usage hour per hour. You can tap here on the graph or you can tap on this graph right here as well. So you can see hour by hour how you're using your battery, how many hours of screen time you had on, what, which app you used, same story like here on the on late late uh, last night so you can see it very easily uh, how you use how many hours you use how was your battery percentage at that time and what you used it so as I mentioned as I mentioned it is very very complete and on top of that if you tap on battery health again there's one more thing that I want to show you which is optimized battery charging you have probably seen this before because this was this was super advertised and everything but you but if you haven't just make sure to leave it on it is on by default but if for some reason it is off just make sure to turn it on because what that would do is prevent your battery from aging so fast because it will keep your battery at 80% while it is charging overnight for example and then only when you're about to wake up it is gonna learn your pattern only when you're about to wake up is gonna have you uh, the 100% charge because keeping that 100% full charge at the, at the whole time actually degrades your battery so leaving it at 80% helps you save your battery life this is super cool so always leave that on Okay guys, so since we're here on the settings app, there's no way to talk about iOS 13 and battery saving without talking about dark mode under here, display and brightness. So I'm gonna turn on dark mode right here and dark mode actually helps you save a ton of battery life because of your display. But keep in mind that it will only help you save battery life if we're using an OLED display iPhone. So an iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max, 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. All the other iPhones right now uh, use the LCD technology, meaning that it won't help you save battery life pretty much at all. Uh, because with the OLED technology, all the blacks you're seeing here, all the black bits of the screen, uh, it means that all the pixels are turned off. Because with the OLED technology, you can have that. You can turn off the pixels and have true blacks, as you guys can see right there. So then because of this, we can save a ton of battery life. So always use dark mode if you have an OLED iPhone and if you're trying to save battery life. Okay, so let's keep the dark mode 
scrolled on and let's keep going uh, so let's scroll all the way down to privacy as you guys can see and then it's kind of hidden but you scroll down a little bit more and you're gonna see analytics okay so tap on it because we don't need to share our analytics with Apple so as you guys can cheat as you guys can see just right there share iPhone and Apple watch analytics just go ahead and disable that okay we don't need that because it means that Apple is constantly uh, the iPhone and your Apple watch are constantly sending information analytics data to Apple so they can have they can help actually improve your experience and all but not your experience like for everybody so there's no point that that you, you need to help Apple um, by draining your battery life same story right here with iCloud analytics if for some reason that's on go ahead and turn it off as well turn off all uh, analytics now let's go ahead and talk about Siri so let's go go ahead and scroll down and go to Siri and search uh, and as you guys can see, uh, there, there's a lot here under Siri, and there's a lot here that say that that actually uses a ton of your battery left. It drains a lot. First of all, is this feature that you're seeing right here called Hey Siri. And as you guys can see, it's gonna invoke Siri automatically, and that means that it's always and constantly listening. It's constantly using your microphone, your processing, and your iPhone, and everything else just for, to allow that feature. So just disable that. Uh, unless it is it is very useful to you go ahead and disable that and also Serious suggestions right here. So suggestions in search look up and lock screen I honestly don't use that I believe most people don't use it, but it's the same story uh, Siri is always processing stuff checking your location learning your habits and everything else just to make sure that it can give you uh, very nice uh, suggestions and based on uh, all your search on your lock screen and everything else and that is completely uh, Okay, done. <laughs> and that is completely unnecessary. So disable that and disable this. And now let's talk about location services. And as you guys can see, doing everything in the settings is a theme, right? Everything in this video is done via the settings app. And that's because everything we need to manage on our phone to save a lot of battery life is just buried right here in the settings. Okay, so let's grow, let's scroll down and go to privacy again. And then we're gonna go to location services. Okay, like location services drain like a lot. And I mean a lot of our battery life. It is using GPS, it is using a ton of technology just uh, to get your location. So this is very, very important. Of course, I'm not gonna recommend that you go ahead and disable location services, cause that's a little bit too extreme. But what you have to do is actually check app by app and what are the applications you have on your iPhone installed and which of those applications actually need to have uh, your location turned on, meaning that they have the, the ability to track your location. So uh, make sure to leave everything that you don't need at never and the applications you do need, for example, if you want, if you like the camera to, to check your location when you're taking a photo, always make sure to leave it while using the app. Never uh, leave it for always. Try never to choose always because that means that the applications are gonna always check your location and you're not gonna have control over that. So that's why you see most of my apps are never and the ones that actually are uh, on, they are only while using. So make sure to have that on your phone as well uh, and then always have them as while as while using now still here on their location services go ahead and check this feature right here share my location tap on it and check if your iPhone has this feature turned on so uh, find my iPhone okay this is super important uh, you you obviously want your iPhone to be tracked okay but share my location is not necessary share my location is it will allow actually other users other iPhone users uh, to actually track you to see where you are and see where you are on the the map. Uh, if you don't want people to actually know where you are and if you don't need that, I don't see a reason why you would have this on. And having this on is super bad because it means, again, uh, uh, your iPhone is always constantly checking your location and sending to the cloud so then people can actually see where you are. So of course, on mine is turned off. Uh, and unless you really need it, I recommend you do the same, turn it completely off, okay? Uh, now, if we scroll down uh, here under location services, we have a uh, couple important things here. Uh, so yeah, WhatsApp is on always. All right, I'm gonna put you while using the app. Cool. Uh, so system services, if we tap on here, this is truly important. Uh, we have a lot of, of, of services right here, as you guys can see, uh, that are always using our location, even though we haven't, we don't, we didn't allow it, we don't want it. Uh, so that just go ahead and disable pretty much most of those features. Of course, you're not gonna disable find my iPhone and emergency call, don't do it. But uh, for example, Apple Pay merchant identification, uh, call network search, 
compass calibration if you if you need your compass or eyelids leave it on home kit i don't use it location based alerts apple ads of course we don't need that uh, suggestions calibrate okay this is interesting motion calibration because i run uh, motion calibration distance i'm not going to turn these bad boys off just this one uh, time zone if you need to share my location and everything else Wi-Fi networking so make sure to go ahead and disable the important ones are not important ones because these drain a lot of your battery life and since we're here let's talk about significant locations a lot of people don't know what that is but actually Apple is always recording uh, all the places you, you are significant to you so you spend most time with your work uh, maybe your girlfriend's house places like that your favorite restaurant and that's it's not only creepy but at the same time it uses a ton of your battery because it's again it's checking for it's checking for a location all the time it's using the processing power to actually uh, uh, store and, and process and everything else is it gonna need your face ID to unlock it and then after that as you guys can see uh, it's turned on so just go ahead and turn off you don't need that so just turn it off and then that's it if you want it's, it's also interesting that you actually go ahead and clear your history if you don't want Apple to keep tracking other places so clear history turn it off and then you're good to go now you've guessed it let's still stick in the settings app and now let's talk about notifications okay notifications again oh they use so much battery life uh, like notifications and location services are pretty much uh, what pretty much drains your battery life all the time and same story with location services you can use this here to check app by app which ones actually drain your battery life a lot because you are constantly receiving notifications so let's say uh, I have tons of apps as you guys can see but most of them I actually don't need notifications so all I have to do is go ahead for example Apple Podcasts, tap on it disable notifications I don't use Apple not uh, podcast I don't have one single podcast on my iPhone so why would I need it to give me notifications or to send me stuff it means that it's always looking for information looking for data to actually give me uh, the notification so I don't need it so go ahead and do the exact same process for absolutely all the applications that you don't need like face app for example just go ahead and disable all together and if you have an application that maybe you like it for example uh, to have notifications but you need all of of them maybe disable sound maybe disable uh, if you want all of those like on, on your lock screen on your uh, notification center on your maybe uh, banners maybe you just need them on your lock screen and don't need all of that you don't need sounds so already you can save a lot of battery life if that application sends you tons of notifications since you're talking about your apps make sure to never do this open your open your app switcher and then start closing everything that you have right there just don't do it and why because every time you close everything or you close an app and you need to open it again it's gonna reload the app from the beginning from the start and that means it's gonna actually use much more energy processing and everything else to open it from the beginning instead of just having it like uh, on standby and open for you Apple does an excellent job to manage RAM and processing and everything as, like that with the the a processors so just don't try to be smarter than Apple and close everything because it's gonna be bad for you now let's get back to the settings app and then uh, let's scroll down let's scroll down to general and then software update I really recommend not leaving automatic updates on like mine is I recommend leaving them off and that's because uh, because of this because of software updating being on uh, it means that Apple will automatically do this process check for updates all the time or maybe once a day and not only that but actually after uh, after it finds an update it's gonna automatically start downloading the that update for you meaning that you're, you're gonna say uh, you're gonna uh, uh, drain your battery because it's downloading stuff and of course because it's also storing on your phone so automatically it's doing this is draining your battery life and you're not even knowing so turn it off and then every week or something like that you can check it out and see if there's a new update in talking about downloading stuff make sure to always absolutely always have wi-fi on as mine is right here so wi-fi turned on and connected make sure to always have that because 4g drains much much more battery life than wi-fi if you're browsing the web with 4g if you are on instagram watching a video even if you have unlimited data plan that's fine but it is using much more battery life because 4g as a network as a technology uses much more battery than wi-fi so wherever you can just use wi-fi 4g uses pretty much double your battery than wi-fi and last but not least of course i have to talk about slow power mode 
okay of course you may, you may be thinking okay I'm just gonna turn on low power mode and that's it and that's why I left it to the end low power mode is an excellent feature is an excellent function functionality that will help you save a ton of battery life just by turning it on it becomes yellow as you guys can see and it does so many things automatic that will help you save your battery life that is just amazing but just leaving just doing this is not enough so following all the tips I showed you in this video and then doing this when you really really need to save battery life will save you much much more than just go ahead and turn it on so now we have both with those tips of course you're gonna save a ton of battery life all day every day in every situation and when you're really bad you go ahead and you enable power mode so it's yellow right there as you guys can see and then you're gonna save even more uh, something very cool that maybe you don't know if you go to control center right there customize controls and then you can actually add low power mode right here if it's not added on your phone it's gonna be under more controls so add low power mode so then every time you open your control center as you guys can see you're gonna have a widget of your low power mode so it's super easy to turn on and off just like that so I really like it and same story with dark mode Mode, you can put it right here so it's super easy to always switch between light mode and dark mode uh, so you always have those uh, uh, shortcuts right there for you okay so this is just an extra tip right there so that's pretty much it guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to hit the like button down below also hit the comment section down below because I answer everybody I just love your feedback and also uh, click on my bubble to subscribe to my channel and then click on this video because you're gonna love it so that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys in a couple days guys Bye-bye.